Well, Josh, this has to be uh, kind of special for you, being that all you've been through to get to this point, from going on the Ultimate Fighter, you know, back before, and then having the injury to finally getting this win in the UFC. What's the ride been like for you? Oh, uh, yeah, as, as we all know, I've had a lot of bumps in the road, you know, especially with Season 19 at Ultimate Fighter, and then got on Season 23, made it to the semifinals. My original opponent, which was Corey, fell out. I had to fight, uh, I had to fight um, Khalil, you know, my teammate took a loss there, kind of another bump in the road. I was grateful I got an opportunity to fight tonight on the on the finale and uh, got to kind of redeem myself fighting Corey. And uh, I was just proud to represent East Liverpool, Ohio, my home, hometown, T Coach Joanna, Team Joanna. And uh, we're just here and uh, just just grateful I got my hand raised. And what was it like for you on the show when you actually had to go through that fight with Khalil and losing Corey as an opponent, then finally meeting up with Corey here? Yeah, you know what? A lot of it you don't see on the show. You know, I had, uh, I, had um, I think, three days notice, four days notice when I found out that Corey was officially pulled out of the fight and I had to fight one of the closest guys I was with in the house, which I'm still close with, Khalil. You know, I'm wishing him the best tonight. So it was definitely a little tough mentally as far as uh, that goes, you know, kind of having to switch of the opponent short notice. But uh, I tried to be professional, went out, slugged it out, kind of got away from my game plan, didn't use my wrestling. And, uh, you know, you seen what happened. It was an exciting fight, fan fight, and uh, wouldn't change it for anything. How do you feel about that majority decision, though? Does that kind of like sit well with you in your debut or not really? No, I, I didn't quite understand the 28-28. Um, I'm not really sure what they saw there, but, uh, you know, I, I can't. I shouldn't leave it in the judges' hands. Next time I'll definitely go out and get the finish. If you have to fight a friend again in the future, is there anything you would do differently? I know Khalil learned from his mistake of kind of holding back. Uh, what, what about you? Yeah, as far as the friend, uh, fighting a friend differently, I don't think it really, as far as a friendship goes, I think I would kind of stick to my game plan a little bit more. I kind of let emotions get involved. I tried one takedown, didn't get it, and I kind of just, I stood up with the mentality like, let's go, let's just slug it out. It's kind of like fighting your brother, you know, you don't want to lose, you know. And uh, I, I got up on my feet and I just wanted to slug it out and, uh, you know, started laying on my punches and, uh, you know, just got caught. It was one of them type of fights, you know, we, we were both slugging it out, and that's that's kind of the fights I looked to be in, and uh, just didn't work out my way that time. Is this a win that much more special with it being on international play? Yes, of course. You know, I, when I left Ultimate Fighter, I kept my fingers crossed. I, I was praying that I would get a call back to be a part of this week. You know, Coach Joanna was an awesome coach to me, and to get to share a card with her is just a dream come true. And uh, to be a part of this is, is just, it's mind blowing. Uh, I'm just a kid from East Liverpool, Ohio, small town, and uh, I picture walking to the UFC cage a million times and finally get to do it and live out my dream and and uh, and uh, get get my hand raised. It's just that much better. And I don't know if you saw, but uh, your friend Adam Milstead actually tweeted out tonight saying congratulations to you. Um, Ohio guy is really uh, taking taking the UFC by storm these days. Deep is the champion. How nice is it to represent Ohio and get the win here? Yeah, it's awesome. Definitely, like you said, Adam Milstead, Steep A. You know, he was my last amateur fight. You see what he went on to do. You know, hopefully in the future, you know, you got a heavyweight champ from Ohio and a light heavyweight champ from Ohio. You know, just keep grinding and uh, keep focused. Keep my eye on the prize. And uh, you know I'm ready to get back in there whenever they call. Is that the dream scenario to fight on that collegiate card if you can and bump some bruises or anything like that? Oh, I would love to. I'm healed up. I got a couple stitches in my head, but as far as that goes, give me a week. I'll be back into training. And if I can fight on UFC 203, I would love it. Cleveland, Ohio, you know that that would be a dream come true. Also, anyone you want to fight on that card, if you, if you had the choice. I mean, you just got your first UFC win. Polite guy, obviously not going to call anyone else. But is anyone kind of looking? No, I, I'm, I'm 31 years old. You know, I've been in this sport a long time. Like I, I've probably had more amateur fights than a lot of these guys have pro fights, you know, and uh, I'm now 8-2 eight, eight and two or 8-3 as a pro, and uh, I want to work my way up as fast as possible, you know. I, I'm, I'm ready to get in there with whoever they put in front of me. Don't matter short notice, it doesn't matter. I'm ready. This is my job, and I, I, want, to, I want to do it for my family, and I, I'll go out there and fight no matter who it is. Were you nervous when you walked out tonight? Because it's a big moment, big fight week. I, how, how did you handle it? Do you have any octagon jitters at all? You know what? I, I, I don't think I did. I, I Like I told my corner guys before I went out, you know, it, it was I, I fought in front of Dana. I fought in front of Lorenzo. I fought in front of my people and my family back home in East Liverpool, Ohio, and uh, everybody else I kind of block out. You know, you kind of get that tunnel vision when you're walking out to the cage. If I sat here and said I wasn't nervous at all, I'd be lying, though, because, I mean, obviously this is a big situation, International Fight Week, get to fight on Coach Joanna's, you know, the, the championship card, you know, so it definitely meant a lot to me. I just try to stay focused and hone it all in and be ready uh, to go out and compete. You mentioned Khalil. Uh, knowing Khalil so well, the other day, Andrew was saying he thinks that uh, Khalil has too much muscle. He's going to gas early. Uh, he all he knows how to do is stand up. If he gets taken down, the game's over. What are your thoughts on that? 
you know what, Khalil's a freak athlete, you know what I mean? This guy, he's trained with some of the best in the world. I know he calls Anderson like his brother, you know? He's been in there with Anderson Silva and them guys and uh, just training with him on Ultimate Fighter, you know? He's tough to take down. I mean, honestly, if I felt like I got to take down, I know that he kind of lacks there, but I mean, he can get up, you know, and uh, I feel like athletic-wise, and, and he's, got, he's got the power and, and the uh, striking ability to change a fight with just one shot, you know what I mean? And I don't feel like Andrew's got that, you know? Andrew might be able to grind it out, but at the same time, Khalil only needs one to, to end a fight. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks.